இல்லை ஹிந்துஸ்தான் பைபிள் இன்ஸ்டியூட்டுடைய சேர்மன் ரைட் ரெவரண்ட் டாக்டர் பால் ஆர் குப்தா அவர்கள் மத்தியில் இருக்கிறார்கள் நம்முடைய தந்தை பேராயிர் அவர்களுக்கு நெருங்கிய நண்பரும் கிறிஸ்துக்களே அன்பு சகோதரமாக இருந்து நம்முடைய ஊழியங்களை அதிகமாக நம்மை உற்சாகப்படுத்தி ஜெபித்து வருகிற அருமையான கத்துடைய தாசர் இந்துஸ்தான் பைபிள் இன்ஸ்டியூட்டுடைய ஃபவுண்டர் அநேக ஊழியர்களை உருவாக்கி இந்தியா முழுவதும் ஆண்டுடைய ஊழியத்தை செய்வதற்காக பயிற்சி கொடுத்து அனுப்பி கொண்டிருக்கிற ஒரு கத்துடைய தாசர் நம்ம மத்தியில் இருப்பது மிகவும் சந்தோஷம் நம்மை ஆறுதல் படுத்த நம்முடைய துக்கத்திலே பங்கு கொள்ள கடந்து வந்திருக்கிறாக அவர்கள் நம்ம முன்னாலே வந்து ஐயாவை பற்றி சில காரியங்களை பகிர்ந்து கொண்டு நமக்காக செவிப்பார் நவை ரிக்வஸ்ட் ரைட் ரெவரண்ட் டாக்டர் பால் ஆர் குப்தா சேர்மன் ஆஃப் தி இந்துஸ்தான் பைபிள் இன்ஸ்டியூட் சென்னை கம் ஃபார்வர்ட் அண்ட் ஷேர் இ ஷாரோஸ் அண்ட் ஆஃபர் த வேர்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரேயர் டு கம்போர்ட் அவர் இசிஏ ஃபேமிலி It's my privilege this morning to be able to share a few words that will be of great encouragement I trust to all of you and also to the family of Bishop Ezra Sargunam. Many many years ago I first met the bishop when he had come to Hindustan Bible Institute and was teaching. And during that time I was a very young ch- child and so he was he looked like a very big man then and he still appears to me as a very significant and big person but the most significant incident that i remember that happened during the course of his relationship with hindustan bible institute and college was the visitation of a profound mission leader called dr magavran <clears throat> I'm sure those of you who are part of the movement will realize Dr. McGavran and him a very close family and they treated Ezra as family and Ezra treated him as his spiritual father that had significant influence in his life today if ECI exists it's because of the relationship between Dr. McGavran and Ezra I remember my father having attended the Luzon Congress in 1974 invited Dr McGavran to come and Bishop Ezra Sarganam was at that time also at HBI teaching and that's where the relationship emerged what lies in my heart and i hope every pastor in the movement and every bishop in the movement will not forget and that is if there was something that dr mcgavran influenced his life with he said if india is going to be reached we don't need to do just evangelism we need to plant churches and we need to plant churches everywhere and we need to plant so that the gospel is accessible to every man woman and child of our world today he has left a great legacy to all of us and i would I was telling one of the pastors yesterday the greatest thing that we can do is to remind our church of this legacy that he has left behind for the next 12 months if every one of us for the next 12 months will remind our congregations particularly in the evangelical church of India that our mission should be that of the vision of our founder and the vision of our founder was to multiply churches and that if each church multiplies and multiplies and multiplies and passes on the vision to the next generation there will be an amazing legacy that is left behind and every man in india every woman in india every boy and every girl will have the access of the gospel of our lord jesus christ and so i want to in honor in a remembrance of one of india's greatest leaders one of india's leaders in the transition of colonialism to nationalization one of god's greatest leaders who has touched this nation with the vision of god 
It's our joy to recognize him, honor him, and remember him at this time. And I know as each of us keep reminding ourselves of the vision, his remembrance will never go beyond us. It'll continue to go from one generation to the next generation to the next generation. May ECI speak of his vision. May we speak and remember his motivation and tenacity to be an individual who is holistic and committed not only to the Church of Jesus Christ and its mission, but to the people of our nation. And with that, I would like to pray for the family. And if you will bow your heads with me for a moment, I would like to pray for Bishop Kadiroli and her sister and all their grandchildren and for every pastor that are part of the movement. Will you pray with me at this time? Father, we stand in your presence recognizing we also stand in the presence of a very tall leader that touched this nation in more ways than one. And Father, we thank you for the vision that he has left behind. We thank you for the young people, the older people, that represents a vision and the movement that he had. I pray, Lord Jesus, all of us in the midst of this will not forget that you have been the one who put the vision in his heart, enabled and empowered, resourced, and provided in such a way that only you could do. Father, we know that we will miss him, but we thank you that he is in, his, in your presence celebrating great joy with his wife and other members of the family of God. I pray, Father, for every single pastor that is in ECI that he is left behind, that we will be people who will not be committed just to preach every Sunday, but to a vision of fulfilling a mission of making the gospel accessible to every man, woman, boy, and girl. I pray for Bishop Kadroli and her sister and their grandchildren and their children and family. I pray, Lord Jesus, you who said, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I go to prepare it. Father, by faith, we believe one day the trumpet will blow and those of us who are alive in a twinkling of an eye will be caught up. Those who are asleep, will be risen and we all together will be joined with you and so father we thank you for this hope that you have given to us i pray that your comfort will be with the family and that your grace and presence that was with late bishop ezra sugam sargunam will also be with them and that together every one of us will not forget his mission and accomplish your vision to see the gospel accessible to every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. We ask this all in Jesus' precious name. Amen.